thank you, uh, Monica Holmeyer. Um, I, I would also like to express our thanks uh, for, for the good cooperation around this, uh, this delegation trip to Prague. I think it is um, exactly the right sign that we're sending with putting this issue on the agenda as the first item in the first meeting uh, that, that this committee is taking uh, after uh, after the lockdown as well, right? It is, uh, it is incredibly important that we make sure that the funds of EU taxpayers do actually reach those that we, that we do want to reach. And, and I can but uh, follow the statements of, um, of my colleagues that have said uh, we, the, the suspicions that we had going to Prague were substantiated and we have quite a lot of worries now that we have outlined in the in the report that we drafted together uh, that that money is not reaching uh, where it should reach and uh, that we do have the extraordinary situation in the Czech Republic that the Prime Minister is the biggest beneficiary of, of EU funds in in the country uh, and that is a situation that absolutely we need to resolve and need to resolve as quickly as possible so going beyond um, the, the, the reports that colleagues, I think, have, have done very well. The question now is, where, where do we go from here? And um, I have to say, it's, it's a little bit, I, I understand that uh, the corona crisis and lockdowns, these are special circumstances, but um, that we still don't have a reply of the Czech government to the audit report of, um, of, of the commission is regretful uh, that the deadline was now extended by another three months during which the, the conflict of interest uh, goes, go, goes on unchecked, continues to go on, uh, is, is, is a regretful situation. And um, I, I think the commission needs to come out with that finalized audit report really as quickly as possible. But then the next step is that the conflict of interest that I cannot see disappearing now um, needs to be resolved. Those are the rules. Those con this conflict of interest needs to be resolved and the only three options really that, uh, that, that our delegation could come up with how that conflict of interest could possibly be resolved is that either uh, the Czech Prime Minister steps down from his position as Prime Minister or he uh, no longer accepts uh, EU, EU subsidies in any form or uh, he not only uh, puts Agroferret into some strange uh, trust fund arrangement, which isn't a trust fund arrangement, uh, but, but basically uh, no longer holds any participation in that, uh, in, in, in that company. And then the question is, well, wh what do we actually do if he refuses to do that? Uh, because at that point, then, I think we will need uh, the support of the, of the European Council, right? Because if, if that conflict of interest doesn't get resolved, then the heads of state and government need to enforce EU rules here. Because otherwise, the, the, the rule of law at the, at the heart of the European Union, in the European Council, is, is out the door. So uh, our, all our heads of state and government then need to refuse to sit down with him uh, for further negotiations on the MFF. Thank you.